Unlock the art of personal emails and letters. Mastering salutations and greetings. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to delve into a vital part of personal emails and letters. Salutations and greetings. Salutations and greetings are our first step in connecting with the recipient and can set the tone for the entire conversation. So, let's explore and master the art of starting your communication right. A salutation is a polite expression of greeting or recognition used at the beginning of a letter or an email. In formal scenarios, it can be a person's formal title, like Mr., Mrs., Dr., etc., followed by their last name. In informal or personal emails and letters, we often use the recipient's first name. For example, formal, Dear Dr. Smith, informal, Hi John, remember, the choice of salutation often depends on your relationship with the recipient. The greeting usually follows the salutation and is a more casual and friendly way to start your communication. It sets the overall mood of your letter or email. Often, we combine the salutation and greeting, especially in emails. For example, formal, Dear Dr. Smith, I hope this email finds you well. Informal. Hi John, how are you? Choosing the right salutation and greeting is crucial. Here are a few factors to consider. Relationship with the recipient. If you're close with the person, an informal salutation and greeting would be more appropriate. Purpose of the letter or email. If it's a friendly catch-up, informal is best. But for serious matters or if you don't know the person well, stick to formal language. Cultural considerations. Different cultures may have different customs or formalities around salutations and greetings, so keep these in mind. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Formal. Dear Professor Jones, I trust you are doing well. Informal. Hey Sarah, how's it going? Always remember, a proper salutation and greeting will help build rapport and start your communication on the right foot. And that's it for today's video on salutations and greetings in personal emails and letters. The key takeaway is that the right salutation and greeting can really set the tone for the rest of your communication, whether it's a letter or an email. We hope you found this information helpful, and we look forward to guiding you further on your English language journey. Until next time, keep learning and practicing.